So in this video I'm going to show you how to save your Facebook leads to Modic using Modic uh, forms instead of uh, Modic API like uh, what I showed what I explained in the last video. So let's get started. Uh, first of all you go to uh, developers.facebook.com and you create a new app. Uh, let's name it Modic app. and go to settings and uh, here in the domain we have to input the domain from where we're gonna be uh, uh, from where we're gonna be sending the information and it should be where we did the upload platform.php and webhook dash forms.php so in my case I have them in uh, the root folder in a folder called Facebook so this is the root folder of my modic and this is the folder Facebook so and then this is the platform.php and this is webhookforms.php <coughs> so copy this link And at this point, you just need the domain name. You don't need the page. And you add it as a website too. And make sure it's an HTTPS. It's a secure server with a SSL certificate. Otherwise, uh, Facebook will not allow you to add this domain. Save changes and we choose um, add product and then we choose webhooks get started at this point we are not uh, subscribed to anything so let's get let's subscribe uh, webhook dash forms dot php to uh, here to uh, facebook so to do that First, you need to uh, go to uh, developers. Let's go back to developers. Developers.facebook.com, and from there, tools and support, and Graph API Explorer. So here, make sure you choose. The paid, the paid, the app you created, and get token, get app token, and then here, make sure you choose post, and we're gonna need the app ID. So let's go here. You can copy it here. You can go to settings, and then you can copy it from here. Copy. So paste it here. Dash. Subs subscriptions and then you add four fields in here first one is uh, object page second one is fields uh, lead gen third one is uh, verify token and uh, whatever you write here so let's say I'm gonna put for example modic 01 whatever you write here we're gonna write it here too let's go back here uh, we have to edit Shadows, the eye. we have to edit uh, webhook forms uh, dash forms dot php and we have to pick put it in here Oops. 
so Nordic 01 okay and then we save and exit okay and then the next thing we're gonna need here is the callback URL callback URL and it should be the same one should be the, the URL to the page to webhook forms.php okay and then submit if everything is good you're gonna get the success true message okay now let's go subscribe the page that we need uh, or the page from where we're gonna be sending the leads uh, so in this uh, video I created a page here and this is the page I'm gonna be using to send the leads and if you go to publishing tools and go to forms library you're gonna find all the forms that you can use in your ads if you don't have any just create a new one and just follow the instructions until you uh, make one just um, for example here if you want to capture the first name and last name go come to questions show more take a full name and then have first name and last name separate like this and then continue with the rest and then when you're done just finish and you're gonna have it listed here okay uh, now let's go subscribe to this page let's subscribe the app that created to this page so we can get the leads okay. we go to graph API Explorer or oh, sorry we go to the Modic app we copy the link the app ID and then we go to edit platform.php and we have to edit this app ID with the our app ID like that and then save and exit now we go to uh, platform.php platform.php Log in with Facebook, get the permissions, okay. And here you're gonna have uh, all the pages listed in here, and you choose the one that you're gonna send leads from. So in my case, it's this one. So I'll click on it. I'm gonna say subscribe. I'm gonna give you the page ID. Just copy that page ID. And go back to graph so to make sure we had the we are subscribed. So change the request to get and also uh, make sure it's in Modic app and uh, now let me let me reload this page. Okay, so here is get that's Modic in there. And then here you choose marketing automation solution. Okay. And you put the ID here and then you do subscribe subscribed that apps. When you click submit, you should see uh, your app name and ID here. If you didn't, that means you missed uh, one of the steps before uh, next thing is we are gonna need from this page is this access token I'm gonna copy it from here so for me I'm gonna copy this one this one is valid for only one hour but if you want uh, yours to be valid for a longer time just click on here and open an access token tools and then extend access token and copy this one See, this one is going to expire in June 21st. And when you copy this, you uh, come back here to uh, 
webhook form.php and you edit it it's this one so I'm gonna delete this line and create a new one Access token equals to you. So I'll just uh, paste the uh, access token you just got in there. And then save. Okay. Uh, the next thing we are going to need is. Uh, Go to Modic and go to Components and Forms. Okay, and then you create a new form. I'm going to use the new campaign form. And uh, you give it a name, so Modic, Facebook, whatever you want. And then for the fields, you add the same fields you did add in your uh, uh, in, in this form that you created for uh, Facebook leads. So in my case, I have one that needs a first name. I'll map it to the first name. Add. Last name, map it to the last name here. Add. And the last one is an email address. Email. And this one is already mapped to email. Add. And make sure also to uh, switch this on since we don't need the. Um, the IP address and then save and close and if you go back to forms each form will have an ID just uh, copy the ID of the form that you want like in this one in this case is modic Facebook ID number three copy it and you go back to uh, platform to um, webhook forms.php and uh, you edit this one this one you edit the data form ID you input the ID you just got inside three and the other thing you change here is this your uh, over here it should be the URL of your modic and that's all so let's uh, save this one and exit at this point everything should work now uh, now let's go and try it so let's go back to uh, any of these pages go to tools and support and then go to lead ads rtu debug tool and choose the page you did subscribe to and choose also the form that you created and uh, another way to make sure that if that you are subscribed to the page your app is subscribed to this page is this id should match the app id okay so let's create a lead and uh, we wait for it to fire Okay, now it's good. Let's see if it created a, a lead in our Modic or not. So go to um, Modic Facebook. Okay. 
so it didn't give me any results that's why I did pause the video and I did the debug uh, the um, code and see what's the problem and I found out two uh, problems that I did fix and uh, when you guys try this because I'm gonna upload this code this updated code so when you guys try this it's it should work uh, so what I did change is um, in the um, here in lead first and lead last and lead email it was before it was zero this one was zero and this one was one and this one was two so I switched them to two one zero uh, this should be uh, you guys should have the right uh, file with the corrected uh, mistake but uh, uh, this is how you do it uh, right now I did save this file and when you go back here to forms you see that there is one result and that's it I'm gonna delete it and now let's try uh, to send another lead and see if we're gonna get it here or not so let's go to lead as this tool uh, delete this lead that we sent before and uh, create a new lead and we wait for it to fire That's it. Let's go and check if we get it or not. Let's go to forms. And as you can see, we got the results. And this is the new one that we set. That's all, guys. I uh, hope you uh, understand everything I explained here. Uh, let me know if you have any problems in the uh, comments. And I will try to um, answer any of your questions as uh, uh, whenever I have some time. All right. Thank you. Take care.